Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am John. This is Many a True Nerd, and this is Perfect Dark Remastered, the Area 51 mission. So today we are breaking into Area 51 and meeting up with our agent who is deep undercover. So let's get started. So Here's the fun thing, back in the N64 days, this is not actually pre-recorded footage, this is the game being rendered live, so whenever I press start to begin, the guard will be in that position. So if I press start then, the guard would have been walking away. Grainy footage, they literally just take, they're just taking live footage of the game, just putting a little filter over it, it's kind of cute. Any questions? No. Good. Away you go to the hangar. Carrington's such a troll. Also, who was this agent that they had inside? The guy who they had inside who already had access to the footage. That guy was actually able to get right into the base of the operation and actually be like in the Elvis operation room. Who the hell was that guy? So, uh, I love this mission primarily because I get the MagSec 4. And the MagSec 4 is great. So I'm just going to run straight past them working with the assumption that they can't aim for Toffee. Which they can't. Okay, that's fine. So this is, there's a back way in. So I can either press that button, that opens that door, or there is a back way in by going through here. But would you believe it's not quite as simple as that. This is a minefield, uh, which is obviously kind of interesting because it's, you know, clearly marked as a helicopter landing spot. Uh, this is where I typically use my grenade uh, because I think this is a really good use for it. You just clear up the minefield. I don't know if it does anything to all the mines. Did I get all of them? I don't know if I got all of them. I'm kind of scared that I'm going to detonate a mine. Uh, no, I've got the rocket launcher. Okay, good. That actually worked. Magsec 4s are great. And they're mainly great because of the reload animation. I just want to keep reloading this thing, really. Death to you. Death to you. Okay, this, this is where I find the rocket launcher is quite useful. Because uh, obviously the rocket launcher is a really good way of getting a clean shot at that thing. So that takes care of that. Lovely. Okay, so we have to lower the thing. Antenna lowered. That should spawn some guards, I think. We have like a bit of a wally if it doesn't. No. Good. Uh, maybe the guards spawn when you... The game just saved, which makes me nervous. See, this is why games shouldn't save, because I know that something is kind of wrong when the game is saved. What? What? How is that incorrect? Did... How did that miss? How did that... Anyway, at least this way I can show you. This guy is now walking away, so now when I start, there he is in that exact same position. Or that accurately, apparently. Okay, this time, the antenna is lowered. Oh, now it works, and now, now the people spawn. Yes, double mag sec four. Mainly so I can do, I actually kind of not, I just kind of want to not use the double mag sec four because it makes the reloading animation not as cool. Oh, <laughs> oh ref, ref, that was totally a dive. Oh, oh, hello, robot interceptor, robot interceptor, robot interceptor. Um, okay. I thought I was doing good by coming here first, because then no robot interceptor. Apparently, robot interceptor anyway. Yeah, pretty sure that just landed on me. Pretty sure that did just land on me. Okay, mag sec four, not the right weapon for this job. Oh, this is this is terrible tactical decisions. Okay, experiment time. So this now summons two guys, I'm pretty sure. Or it doesn't. I thought it did. Don't two guys come and deal with that? Two guys come and deal with this problem? I thought two guys came and dealt with this problem. 
Maybe they don't. Maybe they just died down there. I'm not sure. More instances of people deciding to roll into my gunfire because I wasn't killing them enough. Uh, I think, yeah, this one this one has no people but has exploding barrels. Oh, hello. More people. Grenades, apparently. That was a grenade. <sighs> okay, that's that's the troll guy. Who almost got me again. Oh, I'm just going to keep moving. This is my plan now. I'm just going to keep moving. Yeah, I don't care. I really do not want to stay still because I'm feeling like I'm going to die to a grenade again. Just go. Just go. I'm going to edit this down. I've been doing this mission for quite a long time. This is the game kind of trolling because when I played this game on the N64, I spent a lot of time losing to this mission because like I was really cautious. And like every single guard, I like double checked if I was supposed to be killing or not. You can't actually kill them, so don't be afraid to, like, you know, fling around whatever the hell you feel like it. Uh, I'd say, are you dead, or have I just shot the gun out of your hands? I'm not sure which. So, yeah, these guys just all die. Are they all dead already? I'm not sure if all dead already. Looks like it. Okay. There we go. I think we're okay. And now if you just walk through here. Over here. There you are. I was beginning to wonder if... That guard is the worst guard ever. He is literally just standing there. He hears someone behind him say, Agent Dark over here. He sees an enemy agent. What? Wow. They beat Jonathan with an ugly stick. He's actually even uglier than on the N64 version. That's impressive. Okay. That took longer than I thought. So, let's actually now do Area 51 Rescue, where we have to get to the survivor who's an alien. Who, I forgot we already knew was an alien. There is no way to sneak into the research section. The only way in available to you is a weak section of wall like marked in the room beyond the stores. It can be destroyed with explosives. Well then, how did you get in there earlier because you sent us footage? Where are these explosives? In that crate. Hover crate! Cute. Very cute. Hover crate is cute. The way, Hover crate is very cute. Guards. And we're here, and Hover crate joins us for this one mission. And to make life a bit more interesting, Hover crate's coming with me. Uh, Hover crate, incidentally, like uh, Jonathan just told us, does not like being shot at. So this is going to be interesting. Uh, oh, I've got an X-ray scan. Excellent. Uh, all right, Hover crate, you and me. It's you and me versus the world, although possibly not on slopes. Uh, also, not round tight corners, because I can't strafe round corners with hover crate. Ah! Hover crate, you're going to be the death of me, very literally, because you're going to explode. Wait, is that my? That might be a thing. Okay, hover crate, just, just hang out here for a second, while I just check if there's a. I get the feeling there might be a, something hidden behind this. Not sure. Might be double fire. Ah, oh, I was expecting a shield. Double guns. That's just as good. All right, hover crate. Oops, sorry. Come on, hover crate. Okay, hover crate. Me and hover crate. I feel like hover crate isn't necessarily adding that much strategically to what I'm doing right now. Oh, oh, oh. On the plus side, everyone is shooting me rather than Hover Crate. So that's good. Because obviously, if Hover Crate dies, I'm in serious trouble right now. Oh, we've got the Echo in here too. Like the Echo. Okay, just be careful because I get the feeling that at least some of these guys might actually have, uh, might have grenades. And Grenade and Hover Crate definitely don't mix. I'm just going to make sure I've cleared out the bottom. Uh, no, hover crate. No, hover crate. Hover, no, hover crate. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. You cool? All right, you cool. You're gonna be fine, hover crate. We're gonna make it through this together. Probably. Uh, can you make it through that gap? Just yeah. Well done. 
A oh, hover crate, you lost some weight. Oh. Weight watchers? Yeah. Count those points, hover crate. Now we just have to find alright, hover crate. This is what you were born to do. Wait. I can't do it. Sorry. Hover crate, you coming with me you hover crate. We're gonna have continued adventures. It's continued adventures of me and hover crate. Uh okay. Proximity detonate, proximity self-destruct. Yes. There we go. Ooh, that's not a that's not a big space actually. Where did you come from? Alright. Can you fit through here? That was tough. No, it can't. Oh, uh oh, 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 God. Also, bad in general. Um, good boy coming out. Oh, no! Oh, the crack! Oh! That's practically a suicide bombing. Oh, I meant to. I meant to throw him away! You were supposed to be safe! You were supposed to be safe! Just gonna raise up all the containment units. And then double check the game is spawning guards at me. Yep. As expected. Ah, okay! More troll guard placement. Okay, this level is doing that a little bit too frequently. It's kind of annoying. Uh-oh. Was I was I allowed to kill you? I really hope I was allowed to kill you, because you've just melted into the floor. Now, if I can convince someone to part with their uniform... When you say convince, do we mean murder again? Because we normally mean murder. I love how the, yeah, the game suddenly says, Oh, you, you need to get to the autopsy lab or they're going to discover this, that the, the thing's been stolen. They don't notice anything else. They don't notice, you know, the vast amounts of dead people or the huge numbers of explosions that have occurred. They don't notice the fact that I'm going to be... Oh, okay, unarmed. Lab close. Hello. Oh, that's nice. That's not Harry. That they thought for a minute I might be Harry. How did they think I was Harry? I'm clearly female. I mean, I'm not particularly self-conscious or anything, but. I feel Joanna Dart would be insulted at being confused for Harry. I don't know what's going on here. Usability testing. Here's the thing. Even when you've got an alien, don't forget your website needs to be usable. Always follow website best practice. Did the subtlety end? Are we done with the subtlety now? You know, all the... Not like I was being desperately subtle anyway, but, you know. Is the subtlety now completely formally over? Do, 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 do. Yeah, that works well. Grenade launcher works fine. Oh, apparently they were gonna they're gonna kill the thing. Uh oh, I need to find a key. Where's the key? Where's the key? There's the key. Uh oh, how much time do I have left? Okay, I've got time. Excellent. This was the downside of grenade launcher. People are thrown quite far from their possessions. Yeah, screw you. Put your hands up and step away from the alien. I'm so glad Don't she actually said that. Again, doctor, and turn that laser off. They're so surprised. They there were massive windows all around them that told them, that showed them there was a firefight going on, but they seem to be kind of surprised. Oh dear. Okay, now let's do the ridiculous bit. 
This is supposed to be a sealed room. Don't you know anything about autopsy procedures? Well, I don't know. Do you? You just took your face mask off. For procedure. You can't take that. It's government property. I love how this is their biggest objection. You can't take that. It belongs to the government as opposed to you've killed a hundred people. See how that overconfident thief deals with our gas defense system. She'll think twice before messing with me again. Well, no, she won't, because if the system works, she'll have been gassed. No, that wasn't meant to happen. Also, why wouldn't you use the gas defense system in the first place? Just do that already. I seem to recall this is a really bad gas defense system. Like, those guys have just died, which would suggest that this is a, you know, really, really dangerous, terrible gas. You idiot. Better get out of here. Yeah, you should. You should. You should not stand there. You should. You should definitely be moving faster than you're moving. Joanna, this is Jonathan. You're in grave danger. They flooded the area with nerve gas. I've noticed. It's made my screen a little bit green, but other than that, I appear to be fine. I lost such a small part of my health, I can't even see it. It's fine. Hello. We need to get back to our friend. Do we? Are you following me or am I following you? Okay, I really, as I say, I really hope I, you're following me because otherwise that's really, really annoyingly slow. Let's check he's actually following. Jonathan! Ah, what the hell is going on here? None of you are Jonathan. Oh, there you are. All right, thank you. Now you've bothered to catch up. Can you just not deal with doors? Is this a pro is this the problem? You can't deal with doors. Do you have to come through at the same time as me? I don't want to keep watching you because if I keep watching you, the game's totally going to spawn enemies in front of me. Just for fun. There's someone here. You see, like that, like that guy. Can't see you, you're hidden behind the objective. I'm gonna work under the assumption you're evil. Early med pack activated. We should defend him now. Okay, good. Bit tense. I don't. Jonathan doesn't have a health bar, which is frustrating. I'm alive. I'll get out of that hover bike. Now cover me while I open the door. No, I'm going. Jonathan, go with all this. I'll see to the console. Yes, do that. The jet bike should get me out before they lock the base down. They're just saying that, by the way. There's not actually a time limit at all. Um, just a thing they say for drama. Assuming I don't die, you know, because the enemy are respawning in this area. Not many of them, though. And I've got a super dragon and a ton of grenades, so I feel like I'm not in too much trouble right now. Because this is, this is the way out, right? Yeah, there we go. Easy. Now, if you'd let Jonathan do it, I'm pretty sure he would have died here. Whereas now, uh, you get to, uh, he gets to show up later, which is, uh, which is nice. Uh, okay, so next we go into the airbase. Uh, I'm going to stop recording now, uh, just for the moment. Uh, so yeah, that was Perfect Dark. And uh, next time, we will do all three parts of the airbase where we have to go and protect the president because we think Trent Easton who's working with Datadyne is going to do something that involves something um anyway I'm not sure we know, I'm not sure we even know exactly what's going on we just know Trent Easton's bad and the president's apparently good uh, and we have to protect the president so we're going to be doing that next time so uh thank you very much for watching uh I was John this was Many True Nerd this was Perfect Dark, and we will be continuing very, very soon. Thank you very much, and goodbye.